The purpose of this video is to teach you the basics of reclaiming coal. The procedures for reclaiming coal are very similar on both reclaimers. So for the purpose of this video, we will be using the South Stacker. The name of the game while reclaiming is to fill up the surge tank. The South Reclaimer is capable of reclaiming over 8,000 tons per hour. The North, over 5,000 tons per hour. There are occasions when the foreman will ask you to run at a certain tons per hour, but usually they want you to give maximum tonnage of coal to the ship. The number one reason for operators not maintaining high rates is reclaiming air. So number one rule, do not reclaim air. This will be explained in more detail later on in this video. The South Reclaimer is capable of reclaiming in all four quadrants, meaning it can reclaim from north to south or south to north. The North Reclaimer can only reclaim the first and second quadrants, reclaiming from the north to the south. The foreman will tell you what side, A or B, and what pile to reclaim from. Often he will put traffic cones or flashing lights to mark the pile to be reclaimed. If required, the foreman will help you set up for your first cut. If the pile to be reclaimed has an existing cut and the bulldozers have not pushed coal into it, you would just set up where the last operator quit reclaiming from. In this shot, the reclaimer is starting a new cut on the north end of a coal pile. As you start to reclaim, the cut will be very short. The arc will increase as you travel south each time at the end of each pass. Always be aware of the other coal piles as the boom can run into them in certain situations. Here we have the south reclaimer setting up for the first cut on the north end of a pile. The operator should boom down till approximately half of the bucket wheel is below the average height of the coal pile. When starting a new cut, the operator may have to boom down in a few steps at the end of each pass, not traveling till the appropriate depth is reached. Going too deep at once will stop the reclaimer from slewing. At each end of the pass, the operator is traveling south. The step advance feature travels the reclaimer at a preset distance on the south stacker. On the North Stacker, there is no step advance feature. The stacker will keep traveling as long as the joystick is held. Usually the operator will do a second count in his or her head of roughly between 10 and 15 seconds. Trying to be constant is the most important part. You do not want one pass to be very light and the next to be very heavy. This can greatly affect your average tons per hour. Also on the North Stacker, there is a beam that sticks out in the front of the boom. If you travel too far into the cut, the beam will jam into the coal and stop the stacker from slewing. If this situation should arise, back up till the beam is clear, then continue slewing. The operator must watch for the end of the coal pile and begin to travel into the coal for the next pass before the end of the pass is reached. Now, flipping the slew joystick, into the opposite direction, again trying to keep the bucket wheel into the coal. Timing is everything to be a good operator while reclaiming coal. Again in this video clip, the operator is not timing the end of pass transition properly and losing valuable reclaiming time. Another situation that contributes to lower average tons per hour is reclaiming where there is very little coal. This mostly happens slewing out and away from the berm. When the bulldozers have pushed the coal in to be reclaimed, you will get a heavy load near the berm, but possibly almost nothing when slewed out to 90 degrees. Do not waste time reclaiming this outside coal. The bulldozers will push that coal in later, piling it up, allowing the reclaimer to have a deeper cut. Only reclaim the coal that will give you a good load, unless directed by the foreman. Only full buckets of coal will give you a good tons per hour average.
Unlike the North Reclaimer, the South can reclaim in quadrants 3 and 4. The tow bar must be extended before reclaiming is possible from South to North. When reclaiming in the third and fourth quadrant, there may be times when the stacker cannot travel back far enough to start the cut at the end of the pile. In this scene, the reclaimer could not reclaim any coal without the bulldozer's help. The boom would hit the coal long before the bucket wheel. Here again, reclaiming was attempted, but the stacker could not travel back far enough south to start at the end of the pile. A shallow cut was started, but the boom was dragging on the corner of the pile. If the bulldozers had pushed this pile down, reclaiming could have continued. While reclaiming, a china wall may be created. If the wall gets too high, it will start collapsing onto the bucket wheel. If this occurs, call the foreman and inform him the bulldozers are required to knock the wall down. If possible, go back and start a new cut while the BDs do their job. Always be aware of the other stacker reclaimer's location, and if in doubt, of clearances, call the spotter or your foreman.